it's a little video is for those of you that are used to using Life360 for tracking your phones and with Home Assistant no longer supporting it, um, I was struggling to get the companion app to do the same. So I'm going to show you how I set that up on the companion app and then afterwards I'm also going to talk about a problem that it appears that some phones or Android phones have and how I got around it where things don't get updated regularly. But let's just start with the companion app. So we're going to set up the companion app. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the default update frequency. I'm going to set it to one minute. See that is your maximum update period. So that's when you will get um, the maximum period it will take before you get new updates, including your sensors and also your location tracking. So that's what we're going to start off with. The next thing we're going to go to is this manage sensors and go to your location track tracking section. There you go, location sensors, um, background location. You're going to enable that. You'll see I've got this high accuracy mode enabled as well. Don't worry about that. I'll get back to that now. So we've enabled the background location. We're then going to go to this thing called location zone click on that we need to enable this what this will do is it will pull in all your defined zones in home assistant that you would typically want to use for tracking i have a few zones and that's typically where most of my problems have been is an, is knowing when somebody enters the zone or um, um, you know uh, leaves a zone that type of thing right so you enable that, and this is quite important also for battery saving, and I'll, I'll show you why. So enable that, pull in those zones. We're going to go back to the background location section. Now we're going to switch on this uh, high accuracy mode. And you'll see there's a section that says high accuracy mode only when entering zone. You can click on that, and you're going to select the zones when you want high accuracy mode to activate, right? So, so in this case, I've got an almost home, which tells me when my wife is close to the house, I can call in the dogs, switch out on the light outside if I haven't got it automated, whatever the case might be. But yeah, you get the idea, right? And that's important. Sorry, back to the zones. It's important because if you don't use zones, um, Switching on high accuracy mode will drain your phone's battery really quick. And in this case, you, um, it will only do the high accuracy when the zones are involved. So the, high ac the next one is this high accuracy mode trigger range. So this tells you during normal tracking, when does it need to... Um, start looking out for you entering in the zone and high accuracy mode needing to uh, start tracking you for every uh, few seconds whatever you've set up so this you can switch on and off i've pushed it down so within 200 meters of a zone um, i wanted to prepare itself for, for um, accuracy tracking to to kick in and then this setting high accuracy mode update interval this is as soon as it's in the zone it will start tracking every 10 seconds for me you can, you can decrease this period if you want more um, accurate details but for me 10 seconds work every 10 seconds it's going to send an update so it's very the chance of, of me missing a phone entering a zone is very slim or me uh, a phone arriving at home and i'm not, not knowing about it is very slim with this low 10 second update i'm not going to talk about the rest but that's about it that's how you set it up and then once you've set that up that is when you get this type of details for your tracking now you can say, well, I've done all of that and it doesn't work. And this is the case what I've had. All my, all the permissions were in place. All the battery, um, don't put it to sleep. All that stuff was in place. I'm st we're still not getting these details out of the companion app. And it was as simple as reinstalling Life360, logging in and 
have it run in the background because it appears that in some cases the home assistant app doesn't always have access to the sat to the satellite or to the location details on the phone i don't know if it's android specific whether it's samsung specific but as soon as i've got live 360 active and it uh, somehow keeps the location details available and then the companion app can do its job so for those that struggle um, and then say the companion app is not doing what i've set up um, there's your secret in Keep Live360 running and you will see the companion app pulls in all these details as you are used to it happening.